European and Russian space agencies have successfully launched an unmanned spacecraft. It's on the way to Mars to sniff out signs of life. Who better to ask about the significance of this mission than our national science correspondent, Bob McDonald. Bob, there seems to be uh, an awful lot riding on this. Uh, there is, Peter, because both the Russians and the Europeans have had terrible failures trying to get to Mars. The last two Russian probes both crashed. The last European probe actually landed on Mars, but then it went silent and we never heard from it. So they would both really like to have a success this time. <laughs> what are they hoping to do up there? Well, what they're hoping, Peter, with, uh, with this one, uh, since it did get off the ground and it's on its way to Mars now, I have some animation that'll show what it's going to do. Uh, it's two parts. There's an orbiter and a lander. The orbiter will circle Mars, and, but before it does that, it releases a lander that will go down to the surface. The Europeans just want to make sure they can get to the surface. It's mostly a demonstrator to prove that they really can survive a landing. And then it'll do a couple of weather experiments. The real science is coming from the orbiter, which is going to circle Mars for about five years and it's going to sniff the Martian atmosphere and it's going to look for methane. Methane is a gas that is believed to come from life. I mean if you drink too much beer or eat too many beans you will produce a lot of methane <laughs> and so they think that if they find methane in the Martian atmosphere that might indicate that life is there. However you can also get methane from volcanoes so it's not proof that there's life on Mars but at least it's a start. So all they have to do now is wait Wait until next October when the spacecraft get there, hope that they're still running and hope that all that bad luck that both the Russians and the Europeans have had runs out and they get a successful mission. All right. Something to look forward to. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Peter. Bob McDonald with us tonight.